Rocky, what were your takeaways from the weekend? Power play had a ton of success and a lot of tight games for you guys overall, but just not the results you're hoping for. Um, I mean, disappointed with, with the results. Uh, we, we don't always focus on results. We believe in our process, and our process yields the, the results we want more often than not. Uh, but we didn't play complete games in any of the three games. We played very good for long stretches in both games on Friday and Saturday in Fargo. Uh, we, got a, we got a tough bounce on Saturday, but I think that's the hockey God's way of saying you didn't put 60 together and you don't deserve it. Um, you know, I, I do think there's a lot of really good things to take out of those two games. And, and, you know, it's hard to play on the road. Those guys came here a few weeks ago and they got swept in our building. So I, I have a tremendous amount of respect for that team, but I believe we can play with them. Uh, and then Sunday, we just, you know, I thought we had control of the game until we chose not to. Uh, we went from, from playing our style and, and really not making mistakes to making a lot of mistakes in a short period of time, and, and we let that game get away from us. And there's a number of reasons why that happened, but, uh, but ultimately that's the most frustrating out of the, the entire weekend is not being able to bounce back and get two points on Sunday. What was the biggest positive you took away from the three games? Was it the power play with the five goals in the last two days? Or nah, I'm not worried about the power play. The, the, the power play's fine. Uh, I thought we competed hard. And, and the power play's been, for the most part, one of our, our consistents uh, throughout the course of the year. We need to score more five-on-five five goals. And, and if there's a concern right now, that's what that is. That's, that needs to be priority number one. The power play's going to generate... Uh, momentum for our bench they're gonna score you know one out of every four times which is great but um, you know we need more more scoring from our five on five play and and we certainly generated the chances so that's where we need to, to really bear down and finish do you think getting back into a normal schedule is gonna be a little bit easier going forward you don't have six games in ten days coming up you've just got two this weekend two the next weekend and so on and so forth yeah I, I mean I think we have one more three three game weekend but but yes it certainly helps to get back to our routine uh, we can get back to the, the afternoon skates and and spending more time doing video I mean when you play Friday Saturday Tuesday Friday Saturday Sunday it's you're just you're you're battling to make sure the guys are are healthy and they're rested and uh, don't don't mistake that. I'm making zero excuses for for our uh, um, lack of success this past weekend. But uh, but it is a challenge, and it's one that we did not meet, and and that's something that we have to learn from. Boston, a big week for you offensively. Uh, several multi-point games again. You've been feeling it offensively as of late. What's been the key to your success? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, obviously those four games this week didn't go as we planned. I guess. Uh, just more confidence lately in myself and skating better and I think obviously like some of those coming on the power play, power play is clicking pretty well right now, guys are doing well to finish passes and whatnot and going to the net hard and yeah just uh, things are clicking pretty well. You mentioned the, the four games last week, three of them were one goal losses, one of them would have been if not for an empty net or late. I felt like you guys are right there in all of them. What are some of the adjustments you guys think you got to work on this week in practice? Yeah, I think, uh, whatever, I think going into the third period of each game, it was tied or we were winning in every single one. And so obviously that's frustrating. And uh, we watched some video this morning. I think it's just the little things like making sure that we played our identity for a full 60 every night because obviously take a shift off. At, like the end of the second period in the Fargo game, one shift, one bad uh, turnover and um, the game's going the other way. The momentum shifts and whatnot, but I think that just we're going to focus on us this week and I think that we have two big games against two falls where we can turn the page for sure. Do you think because the schedule's going to open up a little bit more, you've got a little bit more room to get back into your normal routine, do you think that's going to help because six games in ten days was a lot for any? It was for sure. And I think that uh, obviously uh, Sunday we were feeling it a bit in third period and stuff, being on the bus, on the road, but uh, no can't complain about anything because every team in this league has to do it and I think that it will be a good reset um, this week especially just to have a few days getting back to our normal schedule and just being around the rink more and playing at home for um, first time in two weeks at, it's on Saturday so it'll be good to kind of reset here and um, hit the kind of I don't know pause button for a bit. The, uh, you look at the power play success though as well you guys that was something that was really clicking 
over the past week, uh, despite the losses in there, and you had one of those big goals, a power play goal on Sunday. What did you like from what you were seeing from everyone out there on the power play unit? Yeah, uh, I mean, we're just, like, chemistry-wise, I think that now we're just starting to feel each other out, uh, where we need to be on the ice, where we have support options, and um, we're just clicking really well. We're moving more on the power play, not so stagnant. Um, as we might have been like early in January and stuff and it gets frustrating like when you go over on a weekend of power plays But I think that this week we turned the page and we did a really good job uh, contributing um, and winning this special team battle every night